Hi. Happy Friday Eve, friends. <sighs> I feel it. Yeah? Yes. I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday. Same. I am tired. Um, so tonight, uh, and Kazakh, we're gonna get the, to the beat drop in just a second. Um, tonight we are coming back with another another round of Mistfall. Yes, uh, specifically we are playing Heart of the Mists, the standalone expansion. Standalone expansions are kind of bomb. Like, yeah. Um, although this one. While it is technically standalone, it can be played with the main game as well. Okay. Parts of it. Um, yeah, it's this thing is a weird animal. Um, it'll it'll make sense when we do the updated rules explanation. Okay. Um, so we have a, another little surprise for y'all. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to hop down on that before we did the beat drop. Okay. Um. Oh. Let's do this a little better. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yes, there she is. Um, In all her glory. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, Cosmic, um, last year when we started streaming, we always had a puppy cam, like, under the table where, like, Dakota and her were... Um, but it was hard because they would move around and we'd have to move the camera or like mm -hmm. they would stretch out and just like knock it over. Um, so we retired the puppy cam, but the puppy cam is back. Hey, Herc. Yeah, because she's in her crate. You want to come here and get a beat drop? She can't do anything to it. Okay, so I have to tell you also, they've been, um, Herc says thank you very much. She's under the table. Can you go to cut up? They've been playing all day, and they are all worn out. But here you go. Say thank you, Cosmic. Say thank you, Cosmic B. And I just tossed Dakota's across the floor to where she was laying, and she immediately got up. There you go, thank you. Oh, yeah, Dakota... <laughs> Dakota sticks to her like glue. Yes, um, so, like... I work like right over there and every time I look over she's just like laying and looking at the looking at the puppy so she's a good little mama dog <laughs> um she's been getting annoyed Dakota with, with her lately but yeah Dakota is so funny because like she she wants to play like she wants to play she just gets like this like it looks like a guy fox mask or something like just this crazy smile on her face and wants to just play 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 on her own terms outside of her terms and what she's willing to accept next thing you know she's biting you in the throat um <laughs> okay so jeremy we're playing different characters tonight we are who are you playing i am playing venda I'm just gonna call her Wendy because she is me. I am her. Okay. Uh, Vinda slash Wendy, the Raven Crag Fury. She is a barbarian. Mm hmm. You'll see a lot of female barbarians just built into a game, so we appreciate that. Um, yeah. I got axes. I will say, so, uh, again, uh, the guy who Wendy bought this from had everything for this game. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff here, including a whole lot of different players. Um, and there's decent representation in good. the Good, that's good. Um, Who are you playing? I am playing uh, uh, Malachi the Shadow Priest. Okay. Uh, and so he is specifically from uh, the expansion, the Heart of the Mist expansion, I believe. Okay. I think that your character is from another expansion, maybe. Um, I'm going to take a picture, a photo of her for the gram. So there's there's a bunch of other like smaller expansions embedded into this thing, uh, and it's hard to tell where the dividing line on those okay. is. But I think that's the case. Yeah, we got like a good full Monty um, from that guy. Yes. Oh. Um... 
I was trying to figure out what Barb's chewing on. She's chewing on her towel. Okay. Okay. Uh, there could be worse things for her to chew on. <laughs> yeah, like how she chewed through. So we have like, because we're over 40, when we're painting minis, we have like the little magnifying lights. She chewed through the cord of one. <laughs> just yep. right through it. Just yep. Lit in literally seconds. Like she you turn your back in just a minute and she has chewed through. Yeah, she cord. did not have it for long. Uh, she's good about not chewing on shoes and other things for the most part, but she loves cords. <laughs> and she likes to run around our little studio in here where there's lots of cords. Yeah. So that's fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but Cosmic Beat, we're glad that, that you like the surprise. Yes. <laughs> oh, and there's a little Dakota peep. I also am not going to watch the game. I'm going to be just watching her the whole time. Because okay. I do love her <laughs> the most. I know you do. Oh, my God. I just want to smush her little face. Just smush her right off. Just the violence you want to inflict on this Cute, sweet puppy. Cuteness rage. Cuteness um, rage is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, appropriate as you are playing a barbarian. Um, I don't want to smush her face with an axe. No, uh, but you do have two axes. I do. Two axes. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Uh, I have a mace, a Ooh. shard of dust, and some chainmail. Neato, neato. Um, so, uh, this plays almost exactly the same as uh, Mistfall. That's okay. what we played yesterday. Um, well, one would have. We are playing the introductory quest for the expansion, uh, The Great Hunt? <laughs> yes, The Great Hunt. Um, what is happening? She falls on falls. No. Yeah. <laughs> she does that. A lot. I'm going to have to go like snort an Adderall to be able to focus on anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, uh, this, this is the introductory uh, quest for uh, this expansion. I think if we want to keep playing this, we probably want to go back and just play through all the yeah. quests of the first yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, uh, to get a taste of the expansion, this is the intro for it. Uh, during the last few weeks, the wildlands have become even more dangerous to cross than ever before. You've seen beasts and beastmen alike strike at travelers with a passion and recklessness rarely seen even amongst their kind. Rumor has it that the time of the Great Hunt is once again upon you, and the myths have chosen their champion once again. This time a wild human by the name of Eridai, determined to stop the ensuing madness of bloodshed, you leave the, the inn to investigate, knowing full well that you're once again racing against time and struggling to stop the nefarious plan already in Um, so, uh... We are starting uh, here at the Hammerhome Inn. Um, okay. And again, this. She literally does this all day. She's so good with her phone. <laughs> and y'all, she'll fall asleep with it between her little paws. Uh -huh. Mid play. Oh. <laughs> um. Like I said, most of this works the same way. Um, we do have uh, a couple changes. We don't have a time deck that we draw from anymore. Instead, we have this time charter over here. Okay. Um, and you see it's got uh, four progress tokens on it. Um, Any time that, that we pass one of the symbols on our uh, threat track out of one of us, uh, we have to take one of these off. And if we ever empty this, then we move this over by one. Can we? Oh, okay. And then four more come on? And then four more come back on. Okay. Uh, we, we can also add to it, if that was going to be your question. Yeah. Uh, so you can target this anytime a card lets you add progress to something. Okay. Uh, this is considered to be at range two. So it's got to be a ranged attack or whatever it is you're doing. Um, but you can target this to add extra progress to everything to give yourself more buffer if you want to. Um, what, what this does is, uh, whenever we're in an encounter, 
at the end of every round, you know, we would draw a time card before. Now instead of doing that, we just check this, and this tells us how many spaces to move the, uh, the time track forward. Okay. Um, Interesting. So the further along we get in this, you know, the faster we move and get closer to, you know, crashing. Yeah. Um, so that's the new time mechanic. Uh, reward mechanic is very similar, um, except we're not drawing cards off the top anymore. We have a market here of stuff that we can choose from when we get rewards. Um, we also have um, our advanced feats that we can buy once again. Yeah. Um, and whereas before we would pick one of these and shuffle them into the reward deck, now these are just here and available for us to buy, just like our advanced feats. Okay. Um, when you are getting a reward for something, you need to check it. And uh, all, all gear has, has keywords on it. And so you have to have, when you look here in your gear prof proficiencies, you have to have one of those keywords mm. in your okay, gear Okay, I wondered, I wondered, like when I was looking at the chart the other day, when we were playing on Tuesday, I was like, why is this even on here, like the gear yeah. proficiencies? It comes up way less often in the original game. Okay. But this one adds a whole bunch of gear rewards. Okay. Um, so it's it's a lot more uh, important here. Um, we uh, will move the same way as we did before, uh, but we now have these quest tokens on here. Okay. Um, and these are going to give us bonuses when we collect them. Basically, when we move somewhere, we'll flip it over and reveal the quest token so that we know what it is. So is it randomized? Yes. Okay. Um, and one, if, once we clear a space out and make it safe, then we can take that token. <laughs> okay. Um, Barb has feelings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Logging our play. I can tell you that uh, they typically are going to help us ignore special attacks from some enemies. Okay. Um, and specifically, if we get two of them, uh, we get to ignore the boss's special attack when we get up here. So we want to get them if possible. Um, and that's about it uh, for the update yeah. there. Um, we do have. Ally cards? I don't know if we have any in here. Uh, but that is a new thing. We can have allies uh, that we put into That's play. fun. Um, so do they work the same way as like the normal cards in your hand? Kind of, yeah. You, you, you put them in your hero area, and then you can use them. It, it's, it, it works very similarly to gear. Okay. Except it's a, it's a character that's here, and then you can actually use them to block attacks from enemies. When they're when they hit. oh and so you can have your ally absorb whatever that is instead of you taking it directly. Um, but I did forget to get one thing out here. When I was packing everything up. I put all of the um, uh, internal cards back in here. Okay. Special ones, we just the regular ones. And we've got, are we going to be dealing with all three enemy types? Uh, unclear. Um, it'll, it'll depend on the okay. encounter we draw, but okay. it did not tell me to, to take any out for this. Okay. So, I think the, the intro quest in the original stripped some stuff out to yeah. make it easier. Of course. And this one is giving you... And it still you, was hard. <laughs> yeah. This one's kind of giving you a full mod. Okay. Okay, the pop is out. Shirk is out. Go to sleep. Dakota is out. I like this. I like this side of our puppies. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. To you be screaming know what I don't without like. them barking at yeah, us. Don't, don't even put that out in the atmosphere. What I don't like, snow days. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm ready for it to be summer. <laughs> I can't blame you. 
it's I'm tired of being cold like I'm cold natured and so with it being like you know nine degrees outside in the morning I'm not a fan like our little cousin we talk about all the time was at school in Idaho that was a choice she made that I would not make <laughs> her college also has a campus in Hawaii that was an option that she passed on you know I just don't really do the cold I'm like and I got a new boss. I got a new boss at work, and he's cool. Like, I loved the manager I had. Got a new one. He's cool. But the last two times, because, like, when I work from home, I usually wear, like, not dressy clothes, but, like, you know, a sweater or a, at least, like, a solid T-shirt. Not a T-shirt with something gross on it, but, like, the last two times I had meetings with him, I just was sitting there in a hoodie. <laughs> sitting there in a hoodie, like, not even caring. Like, is this a giant bomb hoodie? Yes, it is. If you have a problem with it, I can't feel my fingertips right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm really working hard on that first impression. I'm Aww. just ready for it to be summertime. So I could go back to my standard work uniform of a solid V-neck t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> um, uh, one more thing. Okay. Um, we have a draw limit of five. We know that, right? Yes. Um, what that means is you can hold more than that in your hand during your turn. But when we get to the end of the round, or I'm sorry, when you get to the end of your turn, uh, if you have less than five in your hand, you draw back up to five. If you have more than five, then you don't draw. Um, but uh, Heart of the Mists adds a hand limit of eight. So so you can't have more than eight in your hand. So like if I play something and discard it, that doesn't count towards my hand limit of eight. It does not. Okay, draw five, limit of eight. Yeah. Um, so at the and, and again, you can have more than that during your turn. But at the end of your turn, if you have more than eight, you got to discard down to eight. If you have less than five, you draw up to five. Okay. Did you have any cards left in your hand on any turn on Tuesday? Yeah, sometimes. I used my entire hand every time, but I think like twice. I used where it I just had like the one left, but that part of that was I thought I had a limit of how many gear and feats I could have. So yeah, no, there's there's no limit on because these are in your these are not in your hand. These yeah, are hero. But I thought that I could only have those three, and so like there were yeah. times where I would be holding one because there was one I wanted more, and so <laughs> lessons lessons we learn. Oh um, God. Okay, uh, well let's draw our initial hand of five. You can't see this on camera, but her little tail is tucked between her legs. Like, <laughs> just sticking out beneath her knees. <laughs> okay, I'll pay attention now. I just hope she stays like this. I heard you shuffling these earlier, so the only reason I know they're shuffled. Yes, I did. I'm going to really like playing this girl. Oh. So sometimes I just really want to play like a mindless character where all I do is hit shit, and this, I think, is her. Like, everything she does is... I did not shuffle the enemy decks. Oh, okay. Um, these are unique to Heart of the Mist as well. Um, so these are all unique enemy types. Oh, okay. They have the same colors. They do. And you, you can mix them. So, uh, again, if we want to play more of this... Uh, we might want to just mix all of the index together the way I mixed all the items from both games together. Okay. Uh, but again, since we're, che we're specifically checking out the expansion, I figured we'd keep them separate for now. Um, but uh, let's see what we're dealing with before I even follow that. So, um, yeah, I'm excited that we're not moving in a straight line this time. I'm excited to see like what these movements are like. Yeah, we're not. Oh, of course, we start with one of these. Okay. Uh, again, I don't think it makes sense for us to spend that to scout since we don't, don't have a choice. There's only one place we can go for right now. Yeah. Um, so we're going to move here. 
So she, it seems like not only is she just kind of a mindless murderer, she likes to just pull, move um, enemies around, both into her area and out of her area, into the... Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's nice, because when they're here, they're not hitting anybody. <laughs> Correct. Uh, we're, uh, we are at a Ravenock nest. Winged Praetorians. When this location is the active location, all Ravnock enemies receive plus one physical and plus one magic damage. They give one more? Or they, they take they one more? They give one more. Okay, so they give one more. Yeah. Okay. Um, Neato. And we got a D there, so if we get that... If we rest here, we get to restore. Two plus whatever's on that thing there. Okay. Um, One in that case. Uh, if we get that, we will be able to ignore special abilities of all beast men enemies until the end of the turn phase. Um, okay. Uh, but we can't get it until this place is safe. So, first thing we need to do is draw in a camera. Uh, rest for the dead. Um, so, uh, oh, I, I forgot to get a cube for the for the reinforcement track. <laughs> Here, you want to just use this? <laughs> the screw. I mean, we can, but so you don't have to dig anything out. Man, she has got like a light. I'm really glad that we opted for the medium crate instead of the small. Yeah. Kind of wish we would have gotten a large. She's gonna outgrow it fast. I wonder if my parents could use that for Flash. The, he does a crate. I was about to say, did, they don't crate him, right? I don't think he's ever used a crate. They tried. Um. Ooh. Okay, so this reinforcement uh, track is gonna go up massively every time. Um. But we are starting with four enemies from the blue deck. Does the red deck also need to be shuffled? Yes. Okay. I can aid in this. Thank you. Hey, Tammy. Did you finish your game? I guess you did if you're here. It looked like a lot of fun. Like, I was kind of just lurking as I was working this afternoon. I was playing a TTRPG. Nice. About polyglots? it seems like. Okay. Uh, Undead polyglots. Headless Hulk. Bone Wraith. Bone Serpent. And another Bone Wraith. Neat. Fairies. Littlings. Okay. Okay, so now we divide up the enemies. Uh, Settlings. Yeah. Um, I'm four. Set of fools and none. It's called Household. It's like the old cartoon, uh, the littles, but for adults. Ooh, that's neat. Okay. So is it um, just rolled up a character I haven't played yet? Okay, I kind of assumed when I popped in there that you were building a character. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. Are you playing alone? Like, is it a... Is it a... Oh, God. 
had amazing artwork. I should check it out. Of course, I prefer games with good art. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> That's a TTRPG by who? Steph got to play it uh, with the RPG group. We need an RPG group. I think we should have one. We just have to find the time. Uh. Okay, so these guys all come with a progress token on them. Okay. Um, and any time we hit them, the progress token gets discarded. And then at the end of, after they attack, any progress tokens that are left on them get moved to this card. Okay. And that's how we progress. At the end of the defense phase, all progress moves onto this, and then we need four progress or no enemies in play. So basically, if we just don't hit them for one turn, we'll be done. But okay. we have to let them hit us. Oh, her, that was such a good stretch. So um, kick st he kickstarted the game. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's rad. Um, that's rad. Yeah, we're, we need to, I mean, we're going to finish uh, Eat the Right oh sometime my God. soon. At some point, we definitely will. <laughs> we had said we were going to try to this Friday and then just the birthday stream. Hey! This what? guy right here, his birthday is Monday. Oh, God. His birthday is Monday. He is going to be almost as old as my older sister. <laughs> Never. Never be as old as her, no matter what. <laughs> Yep. Nothing she can do about it. Nope. No. Um, we, to celebrate Jeremy's birthday, are playing his favorite games on Sunday. Our friends Jody and Jesse are going to come over and play with us um, so you don't have to just see these mugs. I don't know. We're going to have to figure out how to get the puppy cam on there, too. Oh, my God. Okay. Of course. Of course. Really? Of course you and Kozak have the same birthday. Kazakh, that's amazing. Happy early birthday. Um, so Sunday we're going to have a stream for Kazakh and Jeremy's birthdays. But we're playing only Jeremy's favorite games. Aquarians unite! What? what? <laughs> You're going to wake up the baby. Um, all she did was open her eyes and then immediately back out. <laughs> all, all the birthdays. Um, so we are playing Spirit Island... World Wonders and Great Western Trail for your birthday, yes? I think. That's going to be a nice long stream. Mm -hmm. um, celebrating you, maybe we'll have some cookie cake. Maybe the parents will send a cookie cake while we're streaming. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that would be rad. Um, yeah, so that's just something to look forward to. Oh, and Daniel's coming tomorrow to play... Bargain. Bargain quest. Um, so we've got lots of friends coming. We haven't seen. I haven't seen Daniel since Christmas. Oh yeah, Cosmic. It is your birthday too. If you want to <laughs> see us play something, say something. See something, say something. Yep. We could do a special Cosmic D birthday stream. Yeah. Um. Okay. So what are we doing yes. with these folks? Uh, well, we have to take them on, right? Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Cosmic. Uh, we're happy to provide vibes, which I think we're doing right now. <laughs> Sleepy time vibes. Um, I'm glad she has decided to just pass out as close as she could get to the camera. Um, and I cut off her cute ears though. I wish we could like swivel that thing. I can move it, but it'll probably wake her yeah, up. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, we've got a headless Hulk, uh, flailing giant, four damage on that guy. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this enemy attacks twice, each time also dealing damage to all allies and enemies in its area. 
Also, it kills other enemies, I believe, too. Neat. Um, Bone Wraith, unstoppable when targeted by an effect. A maximum of one wound may be placed on this enemy from vulnerabilities. Um, Bone Serpent, slithering bones. This enemy receives one plus one damage, physical damage, against any piercing effects. Or no, defense. Plus one physical defense against any piercing effects. Um, those I don't think are affecting any of these because these are not, yeah, these are not Rev Revenock okay. enemies. Um, they are all vulnerable to blunt, uh, and flame, and Headless Hulk is vulnerable to divine. Um, I got some good news about those blunt vulnerabilities. Yeah, me too. I've been known to fall vulnerable to a blunt time or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but again, uh, if we can avoid hitting them, then they'll put enough progress on this to end it. How many progress do we need to put on that to four. end it? Oh. Well, we've got four out here, so... So don't hit them. Yeah. All right, or well, we, we can. We'll just get more enemies and, you know, get more progress that way, potentially. Okay. Um, all right, we're both tied at four. I thought you were on three. Oh, you're right, I am. Oh, you start higher than me. Okay. Oh, all right, well, I guess you're get, getting this Headless Hulk, then. Okay. Come on over here. He's a nasty customer. Hulkamaniac. I can handle it. I've got some reflexes. Okay. Uh, so, okay, he moved yours down. So I'm the highest now, so I get this bone wraith. So are we both at two now? Mm-hmm. So we've got a bone serpent. Um, do you do magic damage or physical damage? Um, I think I can do both, maybe? Okay. Uh, but my weapon here definitely does physical. My main weapon does physical damage. Okay. So, they're basically the same. So I'll take this bone wraith, since you already have one. <laughs> okay. And you can take that other guy. Alright. And we're not going to hit him. At all. We can't hit them at all. Uh, I mean, we can, but if we do, they'll lose this. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so I have a suggestion. Okay. Uh, there is a suggested variant in here. Okay. Uh, that lets us, instead of you completing a turn and then me completing a turn, we just sort of both play simultaneously. Okay. And so, like, you can do a thing, and then if, like, you need me to do something before you do something else, we can do that. I like that so much better. Right? I like that so much better. So, Miss Ball is fun, mm -hmm. but it sounds like they took a fun game and just made it funner. The consensus seems to be that this expansion fixes a lot of stuff from the original. Like Frosthaven. Um... Including, apparently, the original, and I've noticed it in a few places, uh, I thought it was just typos, but the original, I guess, was poorly translated. Oh, <laughs> and then that happens, like, the people that translate rule books, that's a special, that's a special person, yeah. a special love, because... Um, and so this rule book is supposed to be a lot easier to understand. Okay. Um, which, I, I felt like I understood the first one okay. I got one rule pretty badly wrong, but... Ugh, oh, you're allowed one rule wrong a week, and so congratulations. Okay, well, I've got four potential damage over here. You've got... Uh, Ten? Yeah, a lot. You got a lot over there. Does he attack twice? One, he two. does, and he'll kick you. 
don't kill that uh, bone break as well, does it? Neat. So we're going to have to get new enemies either way. Is what I'm hearing here. Uh, if you let him attack, yes. Well, what does that mean? Well, if, I mean, if you I have something that him. would either stun him or move him back out here, uh, those, I mean, those are the only things I can think of. Well, I don't have that, but what I can do is uh, do my wraith call here, um, which very expensively, too, allows me to draw a card. <laughs> God. Um, what does this do again? Uh, stun uh, makes them deal one less damage when they hit. Okay. All I can do now is hit people. Okay, well, so I could, I could get rid of that guy for you. It's going to hit him, so he'll lose his quest progress, but he won't be able to hit you anymore. Or either one of us. For eight? Oh, yeah. uh, they don't get the plus one, so it's just eight. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna literally have to discard my entire deck, so I'm gonna hit him. So I'm gonna do my furious strike. So he's got a shield of two. Okay. Um, resolve any one action on an axe card in your home home base. If that action deals any sword damage, add plus two. Okay, so I've got this hand axe right here. And as a fast action, I can deal two. So that's dealing four. So that's two on top of a shield. Um, you may discard one combat card to deal plus one. So... Guy. Yeah. So I'm gonna discard this. So that's gonna give me two, four, five. So it's gonna hang three on him. This goes away though. Sorry, sorry. But then. I can't hit him for another one, but I can at least uh, stun him so he does a little bit less damage. How much health does he have left? Two. Shield of two, two health left. Okay. Discard up to three Duskweave cards. For each card so discarded, move one enemy with a resolve value O of one. He has more than one. More than one what? Oh wait. Up here in the corner. Uh, wait. So he. So if it's a blunt action, does he take plus one? There's one heart beside it. Yes. If you hit oh. him with blunt, he gets another oh. wound. Oh. Well then he's dead. And if you hit him with multiple blunts, he takes wounds for every time you hit him. With I blunt. just gave him two. Well, there you go. Because I hit him with two blunts. There you go. Well, I mean, okay, so also... Headless Hulk could not... So let's talk blunts. about this. I did Furious Strike, which was Blunt Combat, which let me use my axe. Okay, so Blunt, Blunt. Did that give two on that one? 
blunt blunt. Yes. All this does is like add damage on top of my axe. But do both of those blunts count? Yes, I think so. Okay, well in that case I'm taking this card back because that's a good card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh well there's there's the polar bear. There's the polar bear. Um I think I I may do nothing. Okay. I felt bad about that, but like No. I mean, we're gonna have to take on four four more monsters. We are. But this will get us three closer. Yeah. And then we'll only need one, so we could literally kill everything but one and we would just like pick an easy one. Yeah. Um and also I I can heal us some after they get get finished hitting us. Okay. Um Okay, so are you done then? I'm done. Okay. Uh, so they're gonna go. Okay. Um. Yeah, nothing special there uh, for attacks. So, t uh, two coming at you, four coming at me. Uh. Chainmail. So on top of your deck. And my shard of dusk. Okay. Do a reflex. Cancel one physical or one magic. Then place this on top of your deck. So I will take two. think we ever did this, but you can't bury cards from your hero area. They have to be from your hand. Oh, I did Or that. deck or discard pile. Okay. Well, I'm going to bury these two, and then... Uh, but you do get to choose out of those. At the end of your hero turn... Oh, so I can't do this until next round. I can unbury one of these. Okay. Whenever this card is buried as a result, you count it as two cards. Oh. I'm just gonna bury this rape call right here. Council foot for my burial. There you go. Okay. Alright. Um, so now we redraw our hands up to five? Yep. Um, and they are going to move this. One, two, three, four. This means we move this guy over here. One time. So oh, no, you're right. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, so sometimes decoding the, the Yeah, no, numbers. I know. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, oh, my nights are like especially bright tonight. Oh, um, yeah? Yeah. It's like my future. Oh, yeah, this guy's turned up way too hot. I need to fix that. Um, <laughs> I'm about to go grab some sunnies. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've done that. We're back up to the top, so they reinforce. There's nothing else on here, is there? No. At the oh wait, at the end of the defense phase, move on. Okay, so this go this happens now. more to complete that. And now they're going to reinforce um, and they'll get three more. Three more. 
monsters. Okay. One, two, two more bone rates, and a bone start backs. And they get one of these on them too? Yep. Okay. Um, well, I, did, I didn't do anything, so my friend is very I'm low. I'm on six, so welcome to the family, Mr. Bone Wraith. Mm -hmm. um, that'll drop me down to three. You're on one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome also, Mr. Bone Wraith. Okay. I keep hearing like changes in the music and I don't know if it's like a notification on Twitch that you've added or if it's <laughs> so I'm always like All the Twitch notifications are pretty loud and obnoxious. <laughs> the French the Opera is playing in the background. <laughs> I mean it's fine. I like the magical world. Score inspired by the Harry Potter film franchise. Uh -huh. Wow, okay. Um, uh, what did that knock you down to? Uh, two. Seriously. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bone Serpent. <laughs> At least I get to hit some shit. So only one of these needs to live to see tomorrow, right? Correct. Did that? Okay, no, the bone rate didn't hit anything because of the bit. Okay. So this bone serpent. Oosh. Um, but I am hopefully going to be able to help you with this. One. Okay. So, first things first. Well, no, you should just wail on the things in front of you. Uh, sure. I can take some hits. Uh, but first, I'm going to. As a fast. As fast action, I'm going to uh, use Shadow Mend on myself, and then I'm going to use it on you. Heal for two. So just get two cards back? Yep. Don't use that on me. Use it on you. I have two of them. Okay. I did it twice. So do those cards go into our deck or to our discard? Uh, they go into your discard. Okay. So I'm going to pull my other axe up here. Luck be a lady. Okay. So basically I need to do four damage to each of these guys. Two. Okay, so I'm going to do the fast action on my blunt bash, and that's going to put one here. I'm going to use my mace uh, to hit this bone wraith. Okay. And he's vulnerable, that will do two damage, but he's vulnerable to blunt, so he'll take three, and that will... I gotta remember these vulnerabilities. Yeah. Did you give us a coin for that? Yep. Okay. Um, and then I can. Uh, so how many of those guys are worth one coin? All of them. Uh, I can use turn the mists here to take one of them and put them here. This bone right then is going to stay just yeah. kind of unmolested so that I can. Okay, sweet. Uh, okay, so I got Thanks. two for that. And this is going to give me three. One, two, three. And he's going to take two wounds. Okay. It's magical damage.
get better at this. All right, mm -hmm. so now for my regular action, I'm gonna do a Furious Strike, which says resolve any one action of an Axe card. If that action adds, if, if that action deals any combat damage, add plus two. Um, fast action, deal two damage. Two. You may discard a card, but I don't need to discard a card for that. It's just going to do it. So, I'm going to do this, and he is dead. So that'll be another coin. Hopefully. Yeah. And then, so this guy's got one HP left. I have this. I deal two damage. Did you hit him? Yes. For that, the coins? No, that thing that pulls him out here hits him for two magic. Oh, okay. Um... Okay, so I did just cross that little person threshold, but this guy is dead. I tried. It's alright. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, Great. So all I have is this bone rank now. Uh, he's worth one coin? Yeah. Everybody's worth one. Would you like to buy something that could help you? Uh, so the Headless Hulk would work too. I can't remember, but I think well, I would put one here. here. So we had one, uh -huh. two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we did do it. Yep. So we've got six coins? Yeah, yep. let's see. of cards are bomb. <laughs> All damage dealt by your single action becomes magic damage. Add plus two magic damage to that damage. You may place up to three fires on the targeted enemy. For each one place, place one fire on your hero charter. And so does that mean that I also get fire? Uh, possibly. What I really would like is like a shield or something. Okay. Um, what I think I would like to do is uh, spend three onto this crescent of blood. After you resolve an action that eliminates an enemy, move any one axe card from your discard pile into your hand. You may immediately resolve any one action on your axe card. Yeah. I had cards like that with my last guy. It's great. It, you can literally do a regular action twice. That, that goes onto my deck? Nope, it goes in your hand. Can I retroactively use it for the people that I kill? If you can, I mean, I wasn't watching you that closely, but if you can do the math and figure it out, sure. <laughs> After you resolve an action that eliminates an enemy, move one axe card into your hand. I don't have to math that. Okay. I killed three guys. Okay. But you have to play that card to get your axe card back, and then you can immediately equip it. Yep. And use it. Where? I have a range of one on that axe. Uh, then nowhere, but yeah. you could. 
but I'll eat since they you are. You have the satisfaction of knowing you could. Yes. Don't tempt me, mother shucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so we're done. Okay. So I'll draw back up to five. If you have less. But wait, don't I take two damage first? Nope, you draw first. There are certain situations where that can matter. Uh, we draw back up to the end of our turn, and then the defense phase starts. So now they will hit us. Okay. Um, which means if you have a reflex card that can avoid that. A reflex card that allows me to not be hit? Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh, yeah. Cancel up to three. Oh, yeah. Furious Denial. Uh, cancel up to three combat damage or three magic. But I gotta do this. Okay. But... Shadow Trick again. Let me uh, actually just do one and discard my Rage Call. Oh, no. You know what? I'm not going to use it at all. I'm going to save it. Because uh, that's a reflex action, so this guy's going to go over here with two points. Okay. We are officially in ads. Okay. So, Cosmic, if you're still here, this puppy cam, I'm dying. <laughs> and if you look here, can you see Dakota back here? I'm trying to like reach down so you can see me on screen. I am. Um, okay, yeah, there's my hand. See, this is Dakota right here. I can't even handle it. It's perfect, yeah. Maybe she'll wake up here in a little bit. They have been playing their little hearts out, like, and it's so funny because at one point she had Herc pinned. Um, so Herc was like laying on the floor. What are you doing, Daddy? Oh, just moved it just in time to see those stretchy stretchies. Um, so Herc was like laying, and she's small. She's like laying over Herc, like straddling her legs. She literally pinned her during a wrestling match, and it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, and then also they were out in the yard playing. They came in, and I thought she had snow on her back, but it was just drool. <laughs> um, she was covered in drool that looked like snow. Oh uh -huh. god. <laughs> but hopefully we're gonna sleep all night. So I'm just glad everybody's getting on. Oh, so she literally chewed through the Apple air tag holder. Yep. Put an air tag on her in case she runs <laughs> away. <laughs> this afternoon and she literally chewed through it already we found the air tag in the yard i didn't realize she had, like there's a actual hole in it i i mean i could tell that it it had been like chewed up but i didn't know <laughs> how bad i mean bad enough for the air tag to fall out oh, obviously God. yeah so we keep an air tag on her because she will she likes to run away occasionally sneak out of the gate. <laughs> the gate that she could step over, um, but she will only go through it if it's open when her hood rat friends are outside. But <laughs> The air tag makes it a lot easier to catch her when, the, when that happens, because before we would just have to kind of guess. Um, she hasn't done it in a while. Yeah. That's my only concern about the puppy, is that the puppy won't be as disciplined as her. But I wish she had an air tag today. Say that something isn't as disciplined as her. It's quite a <laughs> statement. Uh, oh, God, those big old paws. I just. Okay. Right. So, we are, we are back. back. From ads. So, we are uh, back from ads. We just finished our defense phase, which means that comes over here. 
the answer. Um, and then this goes up one, two, four. Why? Um, that would be why. Um, oh, and we forgot to do this last time. So we will now. Done. Enemies disperse. So they're gone? They're gone. Goodbye, Bone Ray. Unless they have whatever that keyword is that says they stick around about what it's doing. Mindless skeleton undead. Yeah. I don't think he's smart enough to stick around. Nope. Okay. Uh, so we have finished that. Um, now we can get the D. Now we can get the D. Uh, and we each get to pick a reward. That would be nice. Do we have to pay for it? No. Yeah. How much did you pay for that card you got earlier? Three. Did you get something too? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Was it worth two? Yes. Okay. Uh, here's this. I like this one. Why can't you use it? And we can only use these ones and then they get discarded? No. Uh, these potions uh, do uh, from the original game. Okay. But I mean, it'll say, it'll tell you that it goes away. But, yeah. but this one says place the card back on the bottom of the reward deck. Oh, okay. Um. I kind of like this Ring of Fortitude. Axe Hammer Mace Sword. Axe Hammer Mace Sword. I actually can use any of this. Can you use this? Uh, I could. I could also use this. Okay, well I'm taking the Ring of Fortitude. Yep. Does it go into my deck or does it go into my area? Uh, it goes in your hand. Into my hand. Okay. There's my X. Oh yeah. All right. Um, so we finished there. Uh, Take any damage? Are you missing any cards? I am, but don't worry about it. Well, we, we rest now. Oh. So you're automatically going to heal for two plus whatever your restoration value is. Which one is card? Uh, this goes away. Uh, this place is safe now. Um, okay. Uh, and this is done. I hope she sleeps all night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we have a choice. Okay. So we got the D, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, we can use it to ignore special abilities on Beastmen if we fight any Beastmen. We had Beastmen last time and they were gnarly. Yeah. Um, we can also hold them to it. Because uh, if we get two of any kind, uh, we can catch 
that's one of the boss's special abilities. Okay. So we want to go uh, straight forward, north or east. Uh, I'd say north because I just kind of like to always keep moving forward. Okay. But what do you think? I think it's fine. Okay. Do we want to spin our one to scout or just go? I'd say let's just raw dog it. Okay. There. We're going into Path of the Stalker, Experienced Hunters. When this location is the active location, all Stalker enemies in all hero areas activate twice to attack the defense rules. Yikes. 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 Okay, so do we need a D or is the A okay? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't know if that's where we want to turn that down, or if that's where we want to turn that down. Or like, I can just go turn the speaker if I need to. Yeah, just I think it's mostly the speaker. Really fucking loud. Yeah. Um, uh, the, they do different things. The, the D helps us with beast men, the A speci uh, ignores special abilities on beast things. Okay. But if we get the A, that counts towards the two we need to yes, get rid of. Yes, you need two. Okay, okay. Together. So, okay. Um, so this is Perilous. We've got uh, Beasts on the Prowl. Why is there blood on that? Because that tells us there's two enemies here still. So, oh, okay. Uh, it goes away when we clear this. Uh, Done a war crime. I know. I think uh, it's I think it's the baby. The baby baby. Uh so we need three enemies from the green deck. Okay. Uh set up rules. If there are fewer than two beast enemies in play, draw from the green enemy deck until two beasts are revealed. Place the beast in the quest area, discard other cards draw. Uh but first we need to draw three. So what's going on with that? How do we, what do we do with those things again? Um, oh, actually, I think we should have lost one of these. Could you, could you hit this reinforced symbol once? I right? did. Uh, so anytime we hit a symbol. Uh, I've hit it twice, actually. Okay. Uh, anytime we hit a symbol anywhere on this track, we lose one of these. Okay. And when it empties out, we have to move this forward by one. Okay. I thought we moved it back by one. Here's green card number one. Ravenor Stalker. Green card number two. Ravenor Stalker. Are these shuffled? Clearly not. Green card number three. Ra uh, four. Yeah. Let's just give these a quick little shuffle ruffle, shall we? I feel like you're a better shuffler than me. Let me do like my That's janky. That's not true at all. My janky. These cards don't have any texture on them, so it makes that really hard. Yeah. He said the guy you bought this from kept this thing in good shape. He did. The box looks like shit, but the game itself looks great, and that's what matters. It looks brand new, basically. I forget who it was we sent Cat in the Box to in the mail, but they got a game with a huge hole in the back. I mean, that was not what our was fault. Was that core thing? That was, I think, I think yes. That's the fault of uh, UPS or Google, whoever delivered it. <laughs> feels like UPS. That feels right. Okay, a Desert Lurker. Regular okay. Red Enemy. Beast Lurker. Mistcrafted. Okay. Hurt by Frost. Fell Drake. Another beast. Uh, Drake Rending. Uh, susceptible to piercing and bladed. And then a Crawler Worm. Regular green enemy. Uh, venomous. Whenever a player buries any cards as a result of this enemy's attack, place one poison on that player's hero charter. Uh, ignore Slow. 
Lightning and piercing are its weaknesses. I see it. I see it. <laughs> um. This camera made a bit of a mistake. <laughs> this camera is not a mistake. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got three beasts. How dare you say that? What? Cusp of peace. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I'm with Cossack, I'm right here. Hurt sleeps like that. I, I just, I've never had a dog that slept like that. Hurt, and now we've got two. Two big ones that like to snuggle, and they like to snuggle like that. I'm never gonna be cold at night again. <laughs> be sleeping so I guess now would be the right time to tell out. you that we only adopted this big old dog that I, so I can use it as a blanket when I'm falling asleep. <laughs> Mostly not true. I mean, if you do intend to do that, I don't doubt, but, um... I'm not good. Okay, so, like, her ears are always sticking out. Oh, my God. I just want to nibble on them. They're so cute. The, of course, this one, her little tail is sticking out. Her little tail is, She has, like, a little monkey tail. <laughs> when it's um, sticking out wagging. Mm -hmm. I, uh, okay. All beast enemies get plus two health if there are at least two beast enemies in play. And we've got three of them, so... They all get plus two health? Mm-hmm. Um, progression. Uh, one progress for each enemy that leaves play. Um, and we end this if... Uh, when we have placed... One, two, three, four... More progress tokens or kill all the enemies. Okay. Either or. Either or. Alright, well, I feel like this uh, desert lurker is coming home with me. Yep. He's gonna drop me down to four. Am I still in the front? Nope. Okay. Come over here, Fell Drake. Okay. That Place takes you down to three. Well, then it looks like this uh, crawler worm have uh, come to the right place. So they both have two plus two HP. Uh, yes, they all of these guys have plus two HP currently. Okay. Um, although if we kill two of them, the third one will lose its two extra HP. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to equip my mace and my chain mail. I'm bringing out the Ring of Fortitude. Um, I'm going to equip my healing potion as well. I want to take out the Wraith Call to draw a card. I drew an axe. We like drawing an axe. This, uh, draw a card. Wait, one, two, one, two. I just moved up another people. Jeremy. Uh, reinforcement. One of these. Okay, like the so crowd. That, that goes up. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to remember that. Oof. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to use my hand axe, the uh, regular action on my hand axe, deal two damage, you may discard up to three combat cards to deal plus one combat damage for each card discarded, so I've got one, two, Sorry. 
Here we go. Sorry. Okay, so he's got three HP left. So I'm gonna do a fast action from my hand axe. Deal two damage. Combat card to deal plus one. So that's gonna be three total. So that's gonna kill this guy. He is worth two dollar. Make you holla. Is that a nice. I don't know. Okay. Probably should not say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's my turn. One down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Um. I've equipped my welcoming shield here. I'm going to use my reflex action on my shard of dusk uh, to place a dust sweep or control card from a discount pile into your hand, and then this goes on my deck. So this fell drake has lightning breath. When the enemy attacks, it also deals one magic damage to all allies and all other heroes. Cool. So what does it mean if I put if I put one of these like little venom things on my chart? I assume this is the charter. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? It means you're poisoned. Poison. Uh, How do you get rid of it? Uh, healing, uh, restoration effects. So, my, um, my card that heals mm -hmm. can, can give you cards back, but it can also remove those. Okay. Uh, also, at the end of every, uh, turn, after it's dealt damage, you remove one. Oh, this enemy does not attack on the same round. It enters a hero's area. Oh, Okay. Um, unless he gets enraged, in which case he ignores that slow. So I don't even have to worry about him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Apparently he's not going to attack right now. Um, so I'm going to use this Mark of Dusk uh, and attach it to this Drake. Deals two magical damage, which uh, won't get through his shield, but that is now attached. Um, goes up by one and we lose our last one of these so that moves forward and get four more um oh wait you killed one right uh so it's done uh okay so i've attached that I am such a good shuffler. I, I don't know why I'm not in Vegas right now. <laughs> so, Cosmic B, I don't know if you've seen um, Legally Blonde or not, but from the top down, Barb looks like she's doing the bend and snap. <laughs> I also saw it years ago, but a few months ago it was like on TikTok. I don't know if you're on TikTok, but they show like I don't know how they do it or why they do it, but there's like uh, accounts that will put like the little like two minute versions of 
TV shows or movies on it. And um, Legally Blonde was that for a little while. So I watched Legally Blonde in like little 30 second to two minute clips for about two months. <laughs> over and over and over again. Um. Uh, I'm done. Uh, so... Now we draw up our hands. Now we draw up our hands. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Um, they are going to attack. That it's one not. will not. Um, this one uh, will, but I'm going to use my walking shield here. All damage, all physical or magical damage dealt by an enemy to a hero or ally is instead dealt to one enemy in the same hero area with a control card attached. So he's going to hit himself. Stop hitting yourself. Um, Stop hitting yourself. So that's three magic damage coming towards me. One will get through his shield into him. Holla! Okay. And then he has lightning breath. So he's also going to deal one magic damage to all allies and all other heroes. So he also is sending one your way, but again, thanks to Walking Shield, it's coming back at him. So that's two wounds. Ah, okay. So I didn't take any damage from that? You did not. Um, okay. That is done. Uh, now we reinforce two more enemies from the green deck, please. Another Desert Lurker and a Hunter Swooper. A Beast Man, Hunter, Ravenock, Wildlander. This uh, enemy requires an extra one to target. Ignore this ability after the enemy has dealt any combat damage. Uh, lightning and range are his weaknesses. Okay. Well, I think that. Did we get the two dollars for the desert lurker? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that desert lurker is coming your way. I'm at seven. Okay. And I forget if I'm at eight or nine, but I didn't forget the first time. But either way, I'm at four now, so. Okay. Welcome to the family. And then that right means right. the Hunter Swooper is coming to me. Okay. Um, six, seven, four. Uh, and unfortunately, because he has the Hunter keyword. Thanks to this location we're in, uh, he activates, he attacks twice. So we need to kill some stuff before he has a chance he to have do that. Plus two? Uh, he does not actually, because he's a beast. He's not a beast. He's a beast man. Okay, this is a beast. Yeah, so mm. it's it's getting plus two health. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna put my shard of dust again. I'm gonna put my hand axes. So they have plus two HP. it better when they were like susceptible to blunt because everything I do is blunt but mm -hmm. but oh well I have no frost so I'm going to do furious strike I'm going to do the regular action on furious strike which says resolve what do I want to do 
Yes, okay. Resolve any one action on the axe card if that deals any damage for plus two. Okay, so that's gonna be plus two. That's gonna be one. That's another people. Just did a people. Oh, yes. Well, hello there, Indecision. How are you doing tonight? Hi, thanks for joining us. We are playing Mistfall, trying to kick some some creepy monster tail here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to do a fast action on my hand axe, which lets me deal two damage. Uh, I'm attaching Duskweave to this Hunter Swooper, and that's going to let me... Crisis. My tastes have changed so much in this past year, I no longer know what my favorite game is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that feels familiar. That feels familiar. It was root for a while. Um, I'm just now noticing the puppy cam. Oh yeah, she's... She's been playing a lot. Well, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, thanks. She's been playing a lot today, um, so she's a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> so she might get up in a few minutes. Like, she's been sleeping for about an hour and a half now, so she should be getting up. I like too many games to pick a favorites. So I was like, I feel the same way, and then I'm like, but also Spirit Island, so... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like picking your favorite Britney song. You have to just give like a top five. I'm going to use this Dusk Shard uh, to get my walking shield back into my hand. Super into co-ops lately. So this game we're playing here is a co-op. Have you played Mistfall? We've never played Root. I'm obsessed with the meeples, but I've never actually played the game. Yeah, we were talking about that with Jesse the other night. Uh, I definitely want to play it. Um, I know it's super popular. Okay. Um, we've got to check out Final Girl. Yeah. Our friends got it because they it had minis that they wanted to paint. <laughs> Can you play it? More than one. With more than one person, though? Or I is it know. only solo? Because I feel like I've heard, I've seen both. I don't know. Uh, Indecision is Final Girl a uh, single player only game? It is solo. Yeah, okay. that's what I thought. So is there just, has somebody just modded the rules so you can play it with multiple people? I'll just make decisions to get Okay, I mean, we can do that. Um, yeah, it's definitely one that I've been interested in, but the solo thing had put me off a little bit because we have some friends who are not board game people, but would be so into that game, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, it is, they love horror movies so much, um, but I thought it was solo, so we couldn't play it with them, really, so... <laughs> so thematic and it can be so mean I mean we're used to mean games we are. <laughs> at this point we're playing one right now yeah I'm about to get my ass kicked oh that's, uh, okay, though. that's okay though that's okay though well let's see if I can do anything here um I can't hit this hunter swooper 
I could have killed this desert lurker, and I should have. Instead, I hit the crawler worm because it's going to hit me for four. Uh, have you guys ever played Paleo? No. Uh, no, I've There's seen so it. So many I games out there it. that we have not played. Yeah. I mean, there are just so many games. So many. Um. Versus hobby is yeah so um the last two years i have tracked our spending on board games and so like it was a little eye-opening at the end of 2022 like how much money we spent on games <laughs> so i tried to curtail it a little bit in 2023 no <laughs> <laughs> so we actually had to like set a budget um for this year for games, for new games, um, oh. but yes, it's a curse and it is a blessing. Um, the game that we're playing right now, we actually picked up secondhand at Southern Fred Gaming Expo down in Atlanta last summer. Um, so we got these two, we got this and like the base game. So it's like a standalone expansion. And a base game for 40 bucks, which was pretty nice. I don't want to think about how much this thing kickstarted for. Actually, I do. I'm going to Google it. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm hitting with my mace, uh, the big hit deals three and I'm discarding two cards to boost that up to five damage. Wow. Uh, mace, uh, um, yeah, I think it's discarded in this case. Um, and he's got two defense, so that's going to be three more. Three, four, five, so he's down to one HP. Mm -hmm. So um, this game came from Romania. Oh, really? I mean, obviously it came from some non-English speaking place that had to be translated. Yeah. Uh, 2,500 backers. Raised a ton of money. They wanted to raise $19,000. Like I said, I got the sense that it was super popular on Kickstarter when it, back when it happened. Um, so this Drake is going to enrage. Uh, which means his lightning breath now deals two damage. Oh. Uh, but I have my walking shield up, so he's just going to do that to himself. So it's $45 US. For the base. Okay. So we did not get a deal. Um, we did not get a deal. Uh, $45 for the base, but all the stretch goals are in there too. Uh, they actually had some really rad. I'm going to just set that aside. I'm going to study this later because we may actually be having a Kickstarter campaign starting soon, and I like the way they bit their stretch goals. So, okay. I'm going to go study that. Um, all right. So that's my turn. Um, so they're going to, well, draw up first. Please, God, give me some. Give me something that's gonna let me. Oh. Well. Okay, good. I got two wraith calls. So the wraith calls, uh, when the card is buried as a result of uh, damage, counted as two cards. Um. Are either, are either of those guys worth one coin? No. Damn it. Sorry. They're both two gnarly two buckers. Yeah. This guy's dead if we could get rid of these other beasts. Yeah. Um, so if... No. No, no, no. <laughs> uh... Okay. God. Now her little leg is sticking out. Of course it is. I haven't seen a leg out of the crate yet. <laughs> With 
the leg out of the crate is pretty All right. This is hard. Uh, this uh, this Phil Drake is gonna come at me okay. uh, with three magic damage plus two towards you, but walking shield. Why are you hitting me? All damage uh, goes to an enemy here that has a control card on it, so I don't want them. So that's. Three, four, five magic damage. Oh. Um, Why don't you just kill that guy? I could. I could also kill this guy. That's the guy I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Because like, he's got five. He just needs one before he's gone, right? Mm -hmm. And two dollars. One dollar guy. Um, okay. Uh, what's happening on your end? Six damage. But I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna bury these raid cards because they count as two. Okay. So now I just need to get rid of two more. And I get one back at the each of my situations here, so I'm also gonna fill you up for what it's worth. You do, you don't have to. I've got the cards to do it, why wouldn't I? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Somebody's awake. <laughs> Dog butt. Puppy butt. Hell. <laughs> Cannot handle. Cannot handle this situation right now. Okay. Um. I've handled this situation here. Okay. I gotta discard one more card. Come on. Come on, Manola. Okay, see, Cosmic Beat understands. Cosmic Beat understands. Uh, alright, well, this fucking swooper is coming my way. Uh, okay. I'll take you down to six. So the spell Drake is coming my way. I think so. I'm at nine. It's gonna take me to four. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Stretchy, stretchy. Here, come over here. Your little head got cut off. <laughs> well, I guess we're just gonna get puppy butt for a while. I tried to get her to turn around. <laughs> um, we passed an enraged thing here, so. They all enraged? No. You Illusion of Shadows, which lets me discard cards instead of burying them once. I'm gonna do the enrage that allows him to uh, ignore his slow. His slow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember how he didn't attack me the first time? Oh, okay. I mean, that's fine. Loophole every time. Yeah. Gonna... Yeah. 
Uh, that's not even a loophole. That's just the rules. Just the rules, huh? Um. Okay. Well, that's gonna leave me with my shard of dusk and my shadow man. So. Okay. You're okay. First things first. I'm gonna cast <laughs> shadow man, and you get to heal for two. Oh. Does come into my discard pile. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Watch out, Dakota. Come here, little baby. Come here, little baby. <laughs> oh, maybe she was just thirsty. I'm not going to risk it. She starts peeing on screen. That's going to be a different type of stream. I'm not really interested in participating in. True. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, did the light just turn on? Oh my goodness. Uh, this game takes a long time. retreat from this, but that doesn't seem like that would help a lot. Um, I do like what's going on here, though. I mean, for a game that came out so many years ago, uh, you can definitely see influence on some other stuff that has happened since. Feels very much in line with um, a lot of the fantasy flight stuff. Arkham, which we've played a ton of. Uh, and we have now played Champions as well. Finds like she needs to go out to use the bathroom and then she does stuff like that. challenge of having a puppy. We never know. Uh, is she whining because she needs to go out? Is she whining because she just wants attention? Um, and if you misjudge, if you decide to ignore her because you think she just wants attention, and it turns out she needs to go out, uh, then you're cleaning up the mess. And I don't like to clean up the mess. It's not fun. I think this is the smallest puppy I've had in years. Herc was about five or six months old when we got her. Dakota was about the same age when I got her. Um, I haven't had a puppy this small since I was a kid and got my first dog. So this has been an experience. <laughs> So 
So what do y'all think about rolling rights? Anybody like have any good rolling rights they like? Yeah, small dog for now. Uh, she will not stay that way, that's for sure. Uh, I'll be curious to see how big she actually gets. Um, I'm thinking somewhere around her size, probably. Wendy seems to think she'll get bigger. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'm working on one right now. It's almost there. Uh, if you uh, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter uh, and you're interested, I would suggest heading over to elevation.games and signing up for that so you'll know when it's available. Um, but we're going to release that online as a, as a print and play. Um, and so, obviously, I've been looking at other rolling rights to, to get inspiration. Uh, and I feel like I've looked at all the usual suspects, but if y'all have any you know of that you particularly like, let me know, because I'd like to check them out to see if that knocks All right, come here, Barbie. Barb! Barb! Here we go, you little monkey. Oh no, oh no. Oh, that's torture. <laughs> Lip Town, okay. I feel like I've heard that name, but I haven't actually seen it. I will check it out. Here you go, little Barbie. Uh, Cosmic. Dakota, you know what time it is. She did great success. Great success. Okay. Flip down. This is the new rolling right hotness. Okay. Oh, scratchy, scratchy. Okay. We ready? What's happening now? I forgot where we were. Uh, it's our turn, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna. Equip my axe. <laughs> um, oh. 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 Well, no. You stay right where you are, girlfriend. Um. Okay, so I'm going to equip my axe and then I'm going to immediately use my Furious Strike. Mm. One. Uh, use an action on your axe. Which is going to let me deal 2 4 damage. So this guy is dead. That'll be two buckarooskies. Um, and now I'm going to use my crescent of blood that says after you resolve an action that eliminates an enemy, move any one axe card from your discard pile back into your hand and resolve any one action on the axe. So... Can I do a regular action? It says any one action. But I've already done a regular action. Dinosaur Allen's Roar is also great. Uh, no, you can. Uh, I can do a regular action, even though I've did a regular action on another card. It's the card that says resolve an action. Any one action. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh. That it's, it, is, it is literally there so that you can do two regular actions if you want to. <laughs> What's up? Huh? Okay, so I'm gonna do four damage. So this is gonna hang. Three damage here, because it's bladed. Okay. And then move one burial card the bottom of your deck. I'm going to take this Furious Strike, put it on the bottom of my deck. Once per round, you may move your X card to the top of your deck. OK. 
Okay. That's it for me. Okay. Um, I've also done everything I can. Okay. Uh, so this guy's gonna attack again. Uh, but I've got walking shield up again, so this is gonna get discarded, and this is gonna come back and kill. That's two coins. Progress, which we don't even need, but there it is. Okay. So did we get a progress for the guy I killed too? Yes. Please tell me all these enemies go away now. Uh, they, they're going to get to attack before they go away. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this guy is going to hit twice because of the hunter keyword. So that's six damage. I'll absorb one. With my chain now. Okay. Zoinks. Yeah. Although I only have one card in my discard pile right now, so I feel like we should buy something. I'm buying this card for two dollars. Okay. FYI. Uh, if you have an axe card in your area, you may discard one combat card to reduce an enemy shield by two. But first, <laughs> he's gonna hit me for two. So I'm gonna discard this, so it'll be one. Gonna be a people. Wait, what? Well, when I discarded it, I had to move. Oh, oh, oh! Card. I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, when this enemy attacks, he also deals one magic damage to all allies and other heroes. I am sorry. So he's gonna do three damage. So that's gonna be four total damage. So he's doing one to me. Yes. Save my furious denial for that. So I'm going to retroactively get two of my cards back. Okay. Uh, none of these have the persistent tag or whatever it's called. No. Uh, so all these guys go away. They all go away? Mm hmm We don't get the coins for them, though? We do not. Did uh, we take out the two coins that I spent on my card? Yes. Okay. Uh, and we have beat beasts on the prowl. Ooh! Uh, so this goes away. We get the A quest marker here. Um... And we get to heal for two plus whatever your base restoration is. Okay. Okay. Barbara. Um, the time 
track. Uh, she's not wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, you want to call it here? Sure. It is, in fact, four minutes past my bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm not having fun, but yeah. So is she is she on the Damn it. <laughs> is she on the Daniel cam? Can we just put her only on the screen during this ad break? Uh I mm, yes. I think she is on that cam. And I'm gonna look and see who's online. She is indeed. Dating her air tag. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take that off. I'm afraid she's gonna swallow it. Yeah, we need to take it off. I was just waiting for the stream to end before we took it off. Um, Trombone Dalek is online, so um, we will raid her or them when uh, we finish. Uh. <laughs> you can see my beautiful painting box behind there. That's my Waffle House. Uh, thanks for those recommendations, Cosmic Beat. I will check those out. Cosmic can't come to the front right now. They're uh, watching their puppy. <laughs> Choking hazard. The ASPCA is going to come knock on our door tomorrow. God, dog. Oh, she's perfect, though. I'm just going to eat my rabies tag. <laughs> rabies tags are delicious. <laughs> Tastes like prevention. I'm so glad we have her. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Give me that rabies tag. Give me that rabies tag. about it, Barbara. Okay. Um, so puppy time. There we go. Puppy time is over. Back to us. <laughs> We're going to call this here. We're half we'll finish it on our lunch break tomorrow. Or maybe tomorrow afternoon before Daniel comes over. Because I don't want to have to reset it up. Um, but we are going to raid trombone Trombone Dalek. And y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, Power Walk Simulator. <laughs> Seems fun. Yeah. Seems calming. It is. Uh, Have you played this? No, I've been oh. watching people play it. Oh, okay. And thought, yeah, I should get that just to be Um... All right, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow to finish this. Barb says bye. And also to play... Bargain Quest. Bargain Quest. All right, let's go see what you're going to do. See ya, folks. Bye. Barb does not want to say bye. She just started talking. <laughs>